My name is Donnie the intern. My name is Donnie Clinton. My title is Donnie the intern. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's what I go by here. Today is special uh, because this is something we do at Rooftop every fourth Sunday. We want to we wanna invite people who are making really big decisions about what it means to follow Jesus up on the stage to tell everybody that they've made these decisions. And um, through a process, this thing that we call baptism. Baptism is something the church has been doing for 2,000 years. It's actually repurposed in Christianity from Judaism. It's older than Jesus himself, but it's something we do now um, in light of the fact that we love um, Jesus and that Jesus actually asks us to do it. And he says in the book of Matthew to fulfill all righteousness. So once someone says, I believe that Jesus has died and rose again, I am going to step into the baptismal, and I'm going to go under the water and die to my old self and be rose again in the life that Jesus Christ offers us through his life, death, and resurrection, right? And so this is something that ties church together for 2,000 years. That's awesome. So everybody who's been baptized has been partaking in a tradition that uh, people have been doing for so, so long in rooftop, but then Orthodox Church is going to continue that tradition uh, here this morning. I have two uh, nervous friends. <laughs> um, they, they were feeling each other's heartbeats before they got on stage, actually. I saw them doing that because um, they're so nervous to come up here and, and talk about it. But I'm going to invite uh, Sophie and Riley up on stage real quick. Give them a, give them a hand. <laughs> this is Sophie. Hi. <laughs> Nice them. You don't have to be nervous. See, they're all nice. Like, it's like talking to a big group of puppies, right? So. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hello. My name is Sophie Perry. I'm 19 years old, and I've been coming to Rooftop for a little over a year now. Um, so I've known Jesus my whole life, but my journey has definitely developed throughout the past few years. Since I was a child, I've been going to a small church in my hometown in central Illinois. Out of all the traditions there, a water baptism is not included, and I never questioned this motive or just thought that I should be baptized, um, but when I came to college, I began seeking out a church, and the first church that a few of my friends and I stumbled upon was Rooftop, and even though it was about 25 minutes away, we decided to give it a try. After taste testing the bagels, we were hooked, and then the worship happened, and then the sermon, and then we were especially hooked. Um, after the service, our now good friend Donnie Clinton, Donnie the intern, came up to us and introduced himself. Immediately, I knew that there was a special community in this place that I wanted to be a part of. Though only coming here for a short amount of time, I have made such good relationships with friends, families, and my small, small group leaders, Robin and Andrew. Since around high school, I've struggled with the anxieties of finding my place wherever I am in that time of life. College has made that anxiety magnify as it has forced me to form new friendships and basically start from scratch. However, the one thing that I have always known I can come to during these times is my faith. By no means am I close to a perfect Christian, for I still struggle to find the Lord on the hard days. But despite all that, I know that he is the reason that I am here at Rooftop today declaring my love for him now and forever. He has become the light that I could not find before and the hero in every battle I face. One of my favorite quotes that I just have to share with you all is by Bob Goff, the author of Love Does. It says, I used to think you had to be special for God to use you, but now I know you simply need to say yes. Today, I choose to say yes to a life of Christ in my life. I would like to thank all my friends and family for helping me along this journey that I am not done with, but just beginning. Hello everyone, my name is Riley Mack. Um, I would just like to make it clear to everyone here today that I am incredibly nervous. Um, I hate public speaking. It took a lot of convincing to get me up here to speak in front of you all, but the most convincing argument was that this is not for me. I am up here to declare my love and devotion to God. Let me be clear, I'm not just nervous in front of you all today. I've struggled immensely with anxiety in my life. I've tried medicines, therapy, programs, just about everything, but I can never find the comfort that I desperately search for. 
until one day last year when my first college friend, Sophie, told me that she found this amazing church and that she dragged me out of bed one Sunday morning to come with her. We walked into rooftop. I remember feeling uncertain about the entire experience because I had grown up without religion in my life. As I skeptically listened to Pastor Matt speak, I realized that the sermon was about how a life with God can sustain you through incredibly difficult times. At this point in my life, I was struggling with overwhelming changes, and I was frantically searching for a calm within the storm. It was fate that I walked into rooftop that day and got exactly what I needed. For the first time in my life, I felt my spirit connect to God, and I felt that comfort that I was searching for. I felt his power within me. I knew I could take on anything through my faith. Standing up here with God's strength empowering me, I have to thank those out there who came all the way here to see me declare my love for him. My sunshiny friend, Sophie, who is the one who brought me to religion, so it made sense that she baptizes me here today. My amazingly supportive family uh, for coming such a long way, and those who aren't family but treat me as their own. But mostly, I would like to thank God for just about everything else. Even though my journey has just begun and I'm still learning, I feel like I'm finally at the right place for the first time in my life. Thank you all for your acceptance and support. We're going to pray, um, then I'm going to baptize Sophie, and then Sophie is going to baptize Riley. It's going to be really cool. So let's pray real quick. God, thank you for a holy nervousness <laughs> that you give to us. Um, the Holy Spirit working in our lives telling us that this is no small thing to come and follow you. For Riley and for Sophie, I pray that they take, the, they take the excitement of today and professing their love for you and they carry it out through the rest of their life and into glory when we see you. Uh, please bless this time that other people in the audience who don't know you or, or maybe have been tentative about making a decision to follow you to come and be baptized would, would come, that you call us to fulfill all righteousness in following you. And we pray that the Holy Spirit would open up their hearts and that they would be saved. But God, most importantly today, we're thankful for your son, Jesus Christ, and his life, and his death, and his resurrection. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, like, the, like a holy hot tub. So... Okay, sweet. I'm not gonna do it. This is good. Okay. I'm gonna invite you to repeat after me. Okay. Okay. No, I'm gonna say it. Okay. No, that's good. Sorry. We're figuring it out. So, I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. Who died and rose again to take away my sins. Who died and rose again to take away my sins. So, if you pray upon your confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> fun game of telephone. <laughs> I'm going to tell Sophie and Sophie's going to tell Riley. And that's just going to be how it is, okay? Okay. okay. So then you say to her, say, repeat after me. Repeat after me. I believe. I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. And he died and rose again to take away my sins. And he died and rose again to take away my sins. And he died and rose again to take away my sins. Yep, done. Then you feel your hand on your back, okay, and you say, Riley Matt. No, you do it. Uh, upon, yep, you know you're good. Yes, you did. So, say, Riley. Riley. Upon your confession of faith. Upon your confession of faith. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>